Hey, you guys, I know it's been a while. Um, I've been praying for you guys. I love you guys so, so very much. We're going to talk about this right here. I'm sorry. It's this. So now China's saying that they're seeing them. We're going to talk about why they just found a, uh, dug up a huge dragon tail. But let's talk about what's important first, you guys. So, brothers and sisters, the greatest thing that we can do, the greatest thing that we will be judged by is love. Is if we, if the love of Christ resides in us, did we allow, were we a temple for the spirit of the Lord and his love to be made manifest. Brothers and sisters, a lot of people, they want to go out and they want to do this work for the Lord, right? And that's good. And they think that um, to do that, that you you go up to people that you see and, and you go, hey, do you know about the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you know that you can be saved? Brothers and sisters, I will tell you right now, and, and you can take these things to the Lord, the mightiest way that you can advance the kingdom, defeat the kingdom of darkness, advance the kingdom of Christ, and spread and plant seeds that will soon, even if they don't turn away right now, even if they continue in their sin and their error, that will yield a rich harvest of fruits at the time soon to come. The greatest thing that you can do is exemplify the love and the forgiveness of Christ and let and have people around in your environment, whether you're at work, whether you're out where wherever. When people see that true Christ-like love and, and you don't have to be saying anything about the gospel. You know why, brothers and sisters? Because exemplifying true Christ-like love is the gospel. Christ is love. See, when it says, brothers and sisters, there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the ways it leads to death. See, a lot of people think that they need to go up to everybody and say, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? And do you know that when a lot of people, when people do that in this climate, in this day that they're in, do you know that when people hear people say that a lot of people, this wall comes up in their heart and it, and as soon as people say that they get uncomfortable, they get anxious, they get mad, they get angry, and, and a wall comes up. And, and any chance to plant a seed to do something that counters the darkness in them is, is gone. Brothers and sisters, the mightiest way you can take this to the Lord, the mightiest way that you can advance the kingdom of Christ, defeat the kingdom of darkness and plant seeds in others is that if you exemplify the love and the forgiveness of Christ, you know why brothers and sisters, because true Christ-like love is the gospel. The gospel is love. And people think that, Oh, you have to go out and and you have to get this person to say, yes, I accept Jesus. Uh, and some brothers and sisters, those are good things, right? But that is not going by some by you getting somebody to say that does not change their heart. That is does not change their heart. That does not mean there's going to be an internal transformation. But if they see and experience that Christ-like love in coming inside of their temples, that forgiveness coming inside of them, that is what will plant seeds. That is what changes people. That is what counters the darkness. Do you know by somebody doing something wicked and evil and angry to you, by you exemplifying grace and forgiveness, because that's what we all have done, right? We were enemies of the cross and God forgave us. But yet when somebody does something to us, 
we get mad and angry. Brothers and sisters, do you know that me talking about this sort of radical grace and this type of love, do you know that there's many Christians that will hear me talking about this and they say, they say, and they believe all these things that, oh yeah, you, yeah, we can do that, but we also don't let the, we also, um, you know, forgive, but never forget. Or we have to stand up for what we believe in. And, and brothers and sisters, the love to, to come up against the love and the grace that the Lord told us to exemplify, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, love your enemies. Do you know that there's many brothers and sisters that will speak against this type of radical grace and love and forgiveness? Do you know what that is? And they know the gospel. They know many things of the word of God. Do you know what that is in them? That is the spirit of antichrist. That is antichristos operating in people that call themselves believers. Brothers and sisters, there's a reason why this is called the age of deception. There is a reason why many, many people who believe in Jesus Christ will be martyred in the end days because they reject this sort of grace, this forgiveness, and this love. They don't believe it. They don't accept it. There's a reason why narrow is the way that the Lord said. Narrow is the way that leads to salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is the redemption of the body, the receiving when the Lord comes to receiving the glorified body. It's a, it's, it's a lot of brothers and sisters are going to earn their self, their salvation, brothers and sisters, they're going to obtain it, but it's going to be through martyrdom. It's going to be by fire, but there's a few brothers and sisters in the world that will glorify the Lord by their life. That will exemplify radical grace and love even towards their enemies, even to them who did evil and mean and wicked and cruel things to them. That is the love of Christ made manifest. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do as he was being slain. And if, if there are believers that think that we are to not follow the steps of our Lord to live as he did, they are deceived, brothers and sisters. That's anti-Christos. That is anti-Christ. That is the spirit of anti-Christ operating in people that we know to be believers this day. So that being said, brothers and sisters, I'm just going to make this very short and sweet. You know, a lot of people were saying when they saw that balloon come over Montana and then it went all the way over to, they got shot down in North or South Carolina. They said, oh, it's a Chinese spy plane, spy plane, a spy balloon. I'm sorry. Brothers and sisters, when principalities and powers and authorities manifestations of sin that have risen up and have manifested in the lower heavens sin and evil and evil powers they have a spiritual form too when those are being driven out because the heavens are being made anew archangel michael and a legion of angels and archangels in the judgment of the lord god almighty is moving and being loosed upon the evil angels, driving out the principles and powers and authorities, chieftain spirits, ruler spirits, dominions of darkness that are at, that have been operated in the lower heavens. They're being defeated, driven out of the heavens. The heavens are being made anew, and the and the enemy has been cast to earth. Hence, why we're seeing an article saying they've just dug dug up a very well preserved dinosaur tail what is a dinosaur also that's the same that's the dna of a dragon okay now as these evil angels and evil powers are being driven out of the lower heavens into our physical realm it will take some of them will take a physical form some of those things will take a physical form and so that's what we are seeing china is seeing them Right? Brothers and sisters, remember, 
that because of the sins of mankind, because of the rebellion of God's people, uh, me and other brothers and sisters, the Lord has gave, given us this mes message and told us for a long time, there will be an invasion. There is going to be a literal boots on the ground invasion of this country. And this world, this evil beast system, this world that has been made manifest by the beast is going to burn away. It's going to burn up. I'm going to show you this. Okay. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements sh shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Brothers and sisters, behind this world, behind this evil system, this deception of what people call the matrix, this evil beast system, there is another, there is a world. When it talks about in Isaiah 65 and 66, Right. That in the millennial reign, that those who do not come and worship the Lord on the mountain of the Lord, that there will be curse upon them. Brothers and sisters, there is another world that is growing. The kingdom of Christ behind is being it is being it is growing. It is being made manifest. The children of God as they're led of the spirit. There is another uh, something else that is being built but it's behind we can't see it physically yet because this purpose of this wicked world is still is is it's coming to its end but this is all going to burn away and behind it right behind it is going to be when it says in isaiah 65 and 66 i make a new heavens and a new earth Right. There's also a new heavens and a new earth at the end of the millennial reign, brothers and sisters. It talks about new heaven and new earth, not just one time there. It's it happens at the end of the end of this world and the beginning of the millennial reign. And at the end of the millennial reign, when Satan is loosed again, there's another new heavens and a new earth when the Lord will dwell with us face to face. Hallelujah. And things will be perfect. There will be no sun and moon then. There will be no ocean then. Okay. But, um, and on the next video, brothers and sisters, I'm going to talk to you about what is the purpose of the law and why Jesus said he has come to fulfill the law. Why Jesus said, I come to fulfill the law. And what is the purpose of the law? We're going to talk about on the next video. I love you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach.